He's on your left, Hawkins on your right there in game number three. We'll take a look at the board state here as we jump into the game. I got a Hornet Nest and an Elspeth over there on Kenny Fane's side. Now I have a Crux of Faith being cast. It's going to kill a bunch of stuff. Looks like he'll take everything. Wing. So Crux of Fate and three tokens now on Kenny's side. A bunch of Death Mist Raptors just binned for Eric. And there's three soldier tokens after the Crux of Fate there from Fane. It looks like Hawkins has no cards in his hand. That's the problem. He just played a Temple of Plenty, put the top card to the bottom and passed the turn back. Yeah, his deck does not have any copies of Heroes Downfall as well. That's bad news. Fane going to play a copy of Hornet Nest. Looks like he's in the driver's seat at this point. His Hawkins is a two. Make it three, excuse me. Three more soldier tokens should be coming here in just a moment. There they are. Things do not look good for number 22 on our open series leaderboard. Well, he did scry to the top, I believe, with the... No, I went to the bottom. I went to the bottom. Yeah, and I went okay. to the bottom fast. He's taking a look at his graveyard. Leads me to believe there's a den protector somewhere. A lot of 1-1s, one -ones, however, on Kinney's side. I'm not, and with Eric at three, this may not matter, even if it is a den protector. Yep, he checks his sideboard and extends the hand, so we jump into a bit of a bloodbath there. But Kenny Fane's going to win this match here over Eric Hawkins. Abzan Dragons versus Abzan Company goes to the dragon form of the Abzan deck. Two and interesting decks. Hopefully we'll see some of them later in the tournament as well. Yeah, maybe a deck tech from, um, from Ken in the sideboard too. But Kenny's off to a 5-0 start, so clearly his deck is working out just fine. 